sweet people welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Kate and I'm so glad that you popped into this video today but basically today I'm going to be taking you through a typical day in my life as a senior in college it's my last semester and life is a little crazy but I'm gonna kind of take you through what a day looks like which honestly it does change day to day but kind of just taking you through what today is and so today is a Wednesday for me I woke up around 7 and did my devotional time took a shower and went ahead and got ready for my day because today I have a pretty busy day doing a lot of stuff and so I wanted to go ahead and just get started early I just made my green smoothie show it to y'all and I'm gonna drink this I have class in like 30 minutes on zoom and so I'm gonna drink this and just kind of write my to-do list and get ready for the day Okay, so I always like to update y'all on what I'm kind of doing in my devotional time and all that. And so I have been reading my Thrive Bible as I always do every morning. It's just my favorite, it's the best, but I've also been reading this book. Um, and if you haven't read this book, it is awesome and I really encourage y'all to do so, but it's called You Are Free, Be Who You Already Are by Rebecca Lyons. And basically it's just walking you through kind of her story and life experiences with truly finding freedom in Jesus and just what that looks like walking with him and finding your purpose and all that stuff but there's so much good content in this and at the end of every chapter it has some Devo questions for you to reflect on and so I really like to just read a quick chapter in the mornings and then answer or think about those questions even if I don't write them down and then also do my Devo my Thrive Bible and it has just been such a blessing and a light in my morning and so I wanted to go ahead and tell y'all a little bit about that and I actually want to read you guys a little passage that I read today because because it was one of those things where it kind of hit me in the face and it was just really really encouraging and so I think it'll be encouraging to y'all as well so today the chapter is called free to be called and so I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys what stuck out to me and just what I really loved in this week's chapter okay so in the reading this morning it said God knew more than my passions and talents though he also knew the way that mental illness would creep into my family he knew I'd give birth to a child with special needs and he knew I'd suffer from a panic disorder. But the story didn't end with my limitations and weakness. God also knew he'd equip me to use my gifts to share hope with others through my own brokenness. As I unpacked my story and unique gifts, I began to understand, calling is where your talents and burdens collide. Our talents are our birthday gifts, the gifts that make our hearts sing and come alive. Our burdens are found in our stories and what breaks our heart. God was inviting me to use my gifts to come alive to redeem the things that broke my heart. And y'all, that was just so encouraging to me this morning. So if you're struggling with purpose or anything of the sorts, this book is for sure something that you should pick up. Also, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have another job where I do social media and marketing for a new startup company, and then I also have a photography business. So I'm running my personal Instagram, and then my photography Instagram, and the startups Instagram. And so I've got a lot of posting I've gotta do every single day. So normally before class starts, I will just get on the app that I use. The app that I use to plan Instagram is, I. I call it Unum, but it's spelled U-N-U-M, and it's a great way where you can plan and go ahead and schedule your posts, write out your captions, all that kind of stuff. So, so this is an example of just a grid um, from the startup, and so I'm gonna go ahead and see what I have planned, posted today for all of my platforms, and go ahead and post those and get those out before my day really gets moving. currently in my car headed to the shoot I'm going to run an errand or two before I go and maybe grab a coffee or something but I'll update y'all when we're there I might get some footage but I'll kind of run you through um, what a photo shoot maybe looks like and also what I do after my process of kind of like getting the pictures out to people and all that kind of stuff if you guys are ever curious so I just got to the shooting location and I'm waiting for my clients to get here but 
picked up an iced chai latte. That's probably my favorite fall drink if I'm not in the mood for coffee. I already had like two cups today, so I decided not to go for all the caffeine. But yeah, I'm waiting for my clients to get here and then we're gonna shoot. We're at this super cute, just like country, outdoor type of vibe is what they wanted. So it should be good. Just Kentucky things. <laughs> okay, I am back from the shoot and I have my blue light glasses on because I'm about to do some work and edit. But a lot of people have asked me about my kind of editing process and what it looks like when I get back from a shoot. And I know a lot of people probably think that photographers just take it, export it, and send it to you. But there's also a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that people don't necessarily always know about. And so what I typically do is I take my memory card, put it on my computer, and immediately export all the raw files to an external hard drive. And um, this is just so that they're all safe and on the hard drive, they're just safer than if they're on the memory card. And then what I do then is I plug my external hard drive into my computer and I put all the photos into a Lightroom album for that client or that family or couple or senior, whoever I'm shooting that day. And I go through and edit every single image individually after I kind of weed through them and see which ones are the best and favorite, all the ones I love. And so then I export them all into another platform called Pixie Set, which is what I used to send to you guys. And then I make sure that I double check them, triple check them, go do something, come back. Um, yeah, just all that kind of stuff um, to make sure that they are exactly how I want them to be so that you guys will love them or my clients will love them and yeah, and so that's kind of my process, but getting another text, but that is my process and I wanted to let y'all know about it. Also, it's like 1.40, almost two o'clock, which is kind of when I typically hit my little slump for the day because it's after I've normally had a shoot or class or something like that and it's very easy to just want to get in your bed and watch YouTube or Netflix or something like that. But what I try to do is just come sit at my desk, make myself get my planner and write a to-do list of just a couple goals and things that I want to accomplish in those next couple hours before I have meetings or going to church or whatever I have in the evenings here at school. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out my planner, kind of prioritize what I want to do and get done for the rest of the day so that I can use this time to be productive and just to get some stuff done. I'm back. I took a little rest and was just working and doing some other stuff. I changed my shirt because I spilled coffee all over it, which is great. But I'm going to go downstairs, grab a quick bite to eat, and then we're going to be heading to church. So I'm going to be meeting with my small group girls at my local church. I'm on staff there um, in the high school ministry. And so I'm going to go there tonight, spend the night with my girls, um, just getting to love on them and just kind of have some fun time together. Together. so I'm sure they're gonna want to meet y'all um, so I'll catch up with you when we get to church church and I'm just about to get ready for bed and do all the things. If I'm being completely honest, I didn't film a ton this afternoon because if I'm being real, I was just having a little bit of a moment and we all do sometimes, but we actually talked about that at church some tonight just about um, how we have to kind of be real with what we're going through and um, what's going on in our lives in order for people to kind of feel comfortable and open up and it was a really good message and so I'm going to church for sure. I filled up my cup tonight and kind of reminded me of that so I wanted to make sure to share that with y'all um, and just encourage you guys in your conversations and your relationships this week just to be real. Um, so like for me today I 
was feeling super overwhelmed and it was one of those moments where it's like so many awesome cool opportunities are happening in my life and I'm so so grateful but that doesn't stop the feeling of being overwhelmed and stressed and um, just if you ever put your worth and your goals and all that at the very forefront of your brain you're never going to be satisfied and the only thing that truly is going to satisfy you in any of that is your relationship with Jesus and I was reminded of that tonight which was a good way to end the evening but I hope you enjoyed just going through a typical day in the life at college with me and I hope you have the most beautiful day. I can't wait to talk to you guys so so soon. If you have any video suggestions at all make sure to leave them in the comments below and also make sure to like and subscribe if you want to stick around for a while but like I said I love you guys so much and can't wait to chat again so soon.